In this video, I want to compare performance of Java threads versus virtual threads versus Kotlin coroutines. Threads are the fundamental unit of execution within a process. In Java applications, multiple threads can run concurrently. In other words, threads allow a Java application to perform several tasks simultaneously. For instance, one thread can handle user interactions with the UI while another processes data in background. Java introduced threads in version 1 in 1996. But the biggest enhancement was introducing virtual threads in Java 19 as a preview feature that was officially released in Java 21. But what are virtual threads? Think of virtual threads as lightweight or cheap threads that are managed by JVM rather than the operating system. Virtual threads are managed entirely by JVM. This means that scheduling and mounting and unmounting them is done by JVM. They run on a small pool of OS threads called carrier threads. About resource usage, each OS thread needs its own stack memory, typically one megabyte, but virtual threads have very small memory footprint, let's say few kilobytes. So in a typical Java application, we can have thousands of threads, but for the virtual threads, I can say this number is millions. In this video, I want to test performance of threads, virtual threads, and Kotlin's coroutines. This is not a full featured benchmark, just some simple scenarios. Let's do the tests. Now I want to test a very simple performance test. I have a task that just waits for 5 seconds and then finishes. Here I have number of threads and in a loop I will start virtual threads and in another loop I will start threads. Then I calculate the start time and end time and I will print the difference here in output. And this is our simple test. We just start wait for five seconds and then finish so let's do the test with 1000 threads and virtual threads as you can see here it took five seconds 87 milliseconds for regular threads and five seconds 46 milliseconds for virtual threads the numbers are so close, no meaningful difference between threads and virtual threads. Now I will change the number of running tasks to 10,000. In this round, it took 5 seconds 68 milliseconds for virtual threads and 6 seconds 660 for regular threads. Here, virtual threads have better performance, but this is not a very big save. Now I will change the number of running tasks to 100,000. Let's see the results. For 100,000 of runs, it took only 7 something seconds for virtual threads and 62 something seconds for regular threads. I can say it is a huge difference. I continued this test with more tasks and this is the results. Now it is time for the second test. In the second test, I want to test with a more real task, copying an array of 1 million integers and then duplicating all items. This is the task. Here I have a runable that runs copy and duplicate array method. And in copy and duplicate array, I look through all the items of the array and multiply all the items by two. I will start with 1000 threads. Let's see the results. For 1000 threads, it took only 1 second, 106 milliseconds for virtual threads, and 1 second, 190s for threads. No big difference. Now I will increase the number of tasks to 10,000. For 10,000 threads, it took 7 seconds for virtual threads and 8 seconds 
for regular threads so no big difference now let's try with 100,000 And for 100,000 runs, as you can see, the execution time for virtual threads is 66 seconds and for the threads it's 75 seconds. A still better performance for virtual threads, but not so much difference. I continued this test with more tasks and this is the results. In the third test, I have changed the test so instead of copying an array, that was a memory using task, I want to calculate the number of palindromic numbers in an array with 100,000 items. A palindromic text is a text that is equal to its reversed. So let's start with 100 runs first. So fast, 161 milliseconds for virtual threads and 173 milliseconds for threads. Now let's try 10,000 runs. So for 10,000 runs, it is 1 second 200 milliseconds for virtual threads and 1 second 900 milliseconds for regular threads. Virtual threads were about 2 times faster. And for 100,000 runs, It took about 11 seconds for virtual threads and 63 seconds for virtual threads. So the absolute winner is virtual threads. I have repeated the test with bigger numbers and this is the final results. Now it's time for Kotlin coroutines. Kotlin coroutines are concurrency framework in Kotlin. I don't want to go into details about the differences between Kotlin's approach for handling concurrency and its differences with virtual threads. But because most of the developers think that coroutines and virtual threads are competitors in performance, I have converted the last test to Kotlin and I want to compare the results with virtual threads. Here in Kotlin, I have created an integer array of 100,000 items. Then here in a loop, I will go through all the items of the array to see if the item is palindromic number or not. And here I will calculate the execution time. Now let's try it with 1,000 coroutines. It took 681 milliseconds. Now, if I change the number of coroutines to 10,000, it took only 8 seconds, and now I want to change the number to 100,000. Oops, it took 81 seconds. That's a big number. I want to save your time and here is the result of Kotlin's coroutines versus Java's virtual threads performance benchmark. I am pretty sure that you are surprised with the results. This is the result of running a palindromic number test between Java threads, virtual threads and Kotlin's coroutines. Like the video, subscribe the channel and see you in the next video.